once again to Bedford Road Collegiate and the Kelly Powers Gymnasium for Brick 54. Our second quarter final of the day features the St. George's Saints from Vancouver, BC. And the defending Regina City champions, the Ripple Royals. Should be a great quarter final. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First, for the St. George's Saints, head guard of I-10, grade 12, number one, Dominic Aquino. Head forward to 6'6", grade 12, number two, Lucas Butler. Head guard to 6'3", grade 12, number four, Charlie McConville. Head guard to 6'4", grade 11, number 21, Chaker Kuku. And starting head guard to 6'3", grade 12, number 23, Kevin Song. The head coach of the St. George's Saints is Brick 2011 coach of the tournament, Guy De Silva. And now let's meet the starters for the Ripple Royals. Head guard of 5'10", grade 12, number one, Kyle Conte. Head guard of 5'10", grade 12, number three, Talia Nochaya. Head guard of 6'1", grade 12, number 10, Caden Thompson. Head guard of 6'2", grade 12, number 11, Osagi Oku. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We have a game for you. Regina Riffle versus St. George out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Leading off our quarterfinals today on Friday of Brit. One more day to come, and that'll be the semifinals and the finals tomorrow. This is the second quarterfinal of four. The first game, the first quarterfinal was Raymond over Aiden Bowman. So yesterday, Regina Riffle defeated the Bedford Road to advance and St. George defeated Bethlehem Stars. Here we kick it off. Regina Riffle wins the jump ball. Number three, Kylie. Kylie on Ochaya. Ochaya, Kylie Ochaya. This is gonna be a fast paced game. Both teams like to play the tempo. That's true. Regina calls for the pick and roll, looking to use the size of Devin Berry inside the paint. Shot clock violation, Charlie McConville in transition. Nice up and under off, banks it in. Take a little uh, slide back. What a start for Charlie McConville and the St. George. There is number three, Tyler on try again, leading the charge here against St. George's. Charlie McConville in transition to Dominic Acano and he gets fouled. Dominic A. Kano is a force for the St. George. What are they, the St. George? Saints, St. George Saints. Saints, yeah. St. George Saints. Aquino stepping up for him. There's one. He makes the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Makes the second. St. George in a full court man press here right away. Let's see how they handle it, Regina. They come out, they come across half. There's Tyliana Chaya. And in the, in the big man, Devin Berry, six foot eight. All alone there in the key. All alone and he gets sworn by St. George right away. And Charlie McConville in transition to number two, Lucas Butler. Lucas Butler takes on Devin Berry. Travel. St. George is setting up in their press. Let's see how Regina, standard stack and split. Let's see if they reverse it. Yep, coming up the other sidelines. Number 10. Great recovery there to not lose the ball there by Kyle Conte. Uh, now holding it, looking to make something happen here. 
shoots it out to Achaya, but he just can't complete the pass. Out of bounds is going to be a St. George's ball. Regina picking up in a full cold, cold court man press. Here's Charlie McConville and Caden Thompson. That's going to be a marquee matchup in this game. Caden Thompson drives, but he gets taken away from Lucas Butler. Dominic Ekano pushing in transition. He finds Matthew Zhang. Kevin, Kevin Zong, Kevin, Kevin Zong. Zong, Kevin Zong. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. There he is, number 11, Osagi. Over and back. There's that press, tossing turnovers. They're trying to double team Dominic here, take, take, taking that ball out of his hands. Lucas Butler is comfortable with it. He takes on Devin Berry, kicks it to number 21. Javier, Charlie McConville, nope. Kyle Conte takes it one-on-one. -on -one. Charlie has to foul him though in transition. Looks like Charlie McConville is playing with a Kleenex in his nose. I, oh yeah, I thought yep. it would be to cover a piercing there, but uh, no, no, doesn't quite look like it. Kyle Conte wants to get here. Let's see the pick and roll with Devin, with Devin Berry. Davin Berry, sorry, Davin Berry. Osagi Okunde. Osagi Okunde, a very athletic. Nice, shows his athleticism. Big drive there by him. Dominic Akeno here, gonna handle the ball with Car Kyle Conte on him. This is gonna be a game of speed. And Dominic Okino just hits the nice shot from the elbow. There's that press again from St. George, but Kyle Conte takes it all the way through. <laughs> Dominic Akeno is gonna be on the ball all day. Let's see if Kyle can stay with him. Fakes the dribble handoff, drives, kicks it to Lucas Butler for the three. In and out, Osagi Okunde with the rebound. Who comes out, drives, kicks it out there. Number 10, Caden Thompson. Back to Osagi. He's pushing in against three, can't quite make it to the basket. And now in transition, we've got number four. Ooh, Zong there. Zong with the uh, strong finish here. Might have to call him Kevin Strong from now on. Kevin Strong. Davin Berry going to work on Lucas Butler all over him. On the ground ball. Oh, no continuation given there. Davin Berry wanted that continuation, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how Saint the George is gonna handle Davin Davin Berry in the paint. Looks like they're trying to slow him down with a zone here just to have a little bit more bodies in the key. There's Davin Berry under the basket, loses the handle though. Dominic Ekeno in transition. He's looking to score quick. Lucas Butler dribble handoff. Charlie McConville from deep, just off the mark. Number 13. Aryan Sablock. Aryan. Really fast player. Aryan Sablock. Sablock. There he is. Kyle Conte slowing it down, trying to find. Trying to find Davin Barry in the paint, but St. George is showing a different look, going, going to man here. A lot of pressure on the ball. Osagi has to jump up, force up a three, and Lucas Butler comes down with it. Dominic Aquino here, handling the ball. Loves to bounce off the dribble here, here he goes. No look pass to Lucas Butler, unfortunately he missed it. Kyle Conte in transition. Davin Berry under the paint, gets his own rebound, three guys on him and he gets fouled. St. George 12, Regina Riffle four with three minutes left in the first quarter. Foul charge, number 13, Ariane Sandler. His first, timeout, by the Riffle 
There's a timeout taken by Regina Riffle. They just want to figure out here how to slow down the transition here. Huh? I know. Huh? Where? Where? Give us one second here. A little bit of communication happening between the booth and all of our oh, okay. informants on the okay. floor. Excuse that. But we're back now. We're back. What a fast-paced game here. Yeah, a lot of speed by both these teams. A lot of power by both these teams. And a lot of very big guys. We've got Osagi and Davin Berry there for the Ripple Royals. 6-2 and 6-8 respectively. But St. George isn't slouching. Good couple 6-5s there. Arian Sablock. Kevin Zong, 6-3. Kevin Zong can jump through the roof, ladies and gentlemen. That's true. Let's see how Davin Berry is from the free throw line here. He misses the first one. I like to see all his teammates to come and give him a high five. That is good. The that support, is a good, yeah. Yes, that is a good a support here. It's great to congratulate your team when they succeed, but there Those it is. One for two. Regina Riffle going back to their man press here and everybody just clears out. Dominic Aquino handles that pressure very easily. Slows it right down. All alone there, number 14, Luke Sebastian. Luke Sebastian Puts hits the through. big three. There's that press again. Dominic Aquino. Aquino in transition. Nether no look past the number 13. No, he misses it. Davin Berry picks it up. Shoots it out to Ty Leon. Davin Berry slows it down. Osagi drives, tries the reverse layup, and makes it. And one, ladies and gentlemen. What a play. Pure athleticism. Now charge number 14, Luke Sebastian, his first. Luke Sebastian tried to keep up with him, but that's a tough, a tough task here. Osagi just short on that one. Dominic Aquino here, pushing the pace. He's the floor general for the St. George Saints out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Great screen by Aryan, pushing out number five there, Kosuke Matsubara. Hits a nice floater in transition. Kyle Kute here wants to push the pace before that press can, the press can set up. Davin Berry, Osagi shoots the three. Little short, number 13. Arreen Sablock with the defensive rebound. St. George is looking to keep everything on the outside just for now. Great pickup, great fight for the rebound there. Caden Thompson comes down with a Davin Berry to Osagi, who pump fakes, drives. Back to Davin Berry, just off the mark, finishes it, gets fouled, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be drawing a lot of fouls in that way, going up for those rebounds. Yes. Everyone's going to be fighting against him. And here he comes back to the line. Here comes Evan Palmer. Evan Palmer is one of their energy guys off the bench. Whenever he's on the floor, he is bringing energy for his team. Guy De Silva is calling him in here. Feels his team's getting a little flat, flat so, here he, so here he goes, bringing on the energy, Evan Palmer. There's Barry. Barry hits another one, shooting 75% for the night from the free throw line. Hits them both. Up to 80% and after I'm, that. I'm, I'm to 80% now. Number five brings up the ball. Kuse. Kosuke Matsubara. Kusuke. Kosuke. Not sure. Apologies to any families. Number four uh -huh. is on the task. Ian Randall is trying to slow down Dominic Aquino here. Osagi gets the defensive rebound. Gets it to Kyle Conte who slows it down. Trying to figure out what the defense is doing. Looks like St. St. George is in a is in a zone here. There's Osagi. Osagi. 
Really wanted to hit that three, and here's St. George in transition. Those Dominic cages. with the pump fake. St. Saint, Saint George is doing a really good job of pulling Davin Barry out of the key. Yeah. Doing a really good, good job. Keeping Riffle away from the strengths. Yep. And Davin Barry is, has, has been guarding someone on the perimeter. Got, a, got away with an over and back there, but there's Evan Palmer, exactly what we said. He's going to pick up all the loose balls. This is this gym is getting louder, so now the coaches are going to have to really use their communication skills and the signals here. Six on the shot clock. Let's see what Dominic does. Kicks it out. Davin Barry changes that. Evan Palmer with the offensive rebound. And Kevin Zong beats the buzzer. What a play, ladies and gentlemen. 22 to 9 for St. George Saints over the Regina. Ripple, Ripple Royals. Royals. What a start for Saint for Saint George. Very strong start, yeah. Very strong start. Let let's see what kind of adjustments are going to be made. Gavin Barry is being pulled on the outside to guard on the perimeter, so that's opening up the opening up the key for the Saint uh, George Saints here. And we, and Saint and Saint George has has mixed it up on their defensive schemes. They they went from zone to man a couple times, so just keeping Regina on their toes with that offense here. Yeah, being fluid is really important for a team. Being able to switch up like that and being able to communicate to the team that you're doing it crucial oh. in a game like this because both teams are heavy on pressure and you got to know how to react. Yes, communication is key in such a loud in, in such a loud gym. And it's only going to get louder, folks. We've got more basketball to come both tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow's first game, I believe, at 8 a.m. Saturday morning. That's going to be Bedford Road, Red Hawks versus the Bethlehem Stars. Stars. That's what's known as a red-eye game there, yeah. folks. After this game, we will have the Walter Murray Marauders versus the Brooks Composite. What is Brooks' name? Uh, the Buffaloes, Brooks Buffaloes. Brooks Buffaloes, Brooks Buffaloes. Yeah. It's St. George ball here. Start the second quarter. Re uh, Regina's bench is starting the defense chant here. Matthew Zeng gets it, loses it a little bit. Lucas Butler drives, spin nice move spin. to Evan Palmer, but he loses it. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it, Regina does not get possession as it went off one of their players. Nine on the shot clock. Conville sending it inbounds. Sending on a flat on a flat four. Let's see. There's a curl to Lucas Butler with Davin Barry on him. Up and under. Davin Barry just changes shots with his six foot eight frame, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Conte here has been with the deep three. Swish, nothing but net what on that. A three, that was deep. That's textbook right That's there, isn't textbooks. it? That's textbooks. That's the start that Regina wanted. Let's see how St. George responds here. There's Aquino at the top of the three-point line. Aquino here really does a good job of keeping his, his dribble. Evan Palmer. Gets blocked by number nine. Great block there. That's Ethan Aviard. Ethan Aviard with the big block. Osagi drives. Nice little finger roll. <laughs> Regina is coming back, getting a little bit of life here. Yeah, this second quarter is seeming this to be a, whatever, much tighter. Whatever the coaches said in the timeout seems, seems to be working. Lucas, Lucas Butler. To Kevin Zong, back to Dominic here. Let's see what he sizes up. Charlie runs motion, continues, a little strong. Good That's rebounding. It's a jump ball. Comes back to Regina. Regina is going to make some subs here, bring in some fresh, some fresh legs. Three new subs there for Regina. Number 14, Tristan Eberle. Number, uh, number 10, Caden Thompson comes in. And then number four, Ian Randall. Yep. 
Tristan Everlay is another energy guy for the Regina team. So let's see how they can handle this, this little spurt of offense that they've been going with. There's Randall alone pushed out the sides there by two St. George's Saints. St. George's press is still causing turnovers. Number 11, Evan Palmer leaves the game. Janvier Kuhn Kuhn comes back in here, is making his first appearance of the game. Oh, there he is in the far corner there. Kevin Zong going to attack the rim. He is so strong, ladies and gentlemen. Aggressive, strong on the ball. Janvier, Caden Thompson. High lead, Caden Thompson with the three just off the mark. And there we have number 14. Everly, Tristan Everly. Tristan Everly battling Charlie McConville to Lucas Butler, pull up, nope, down to Matthew. Kevin Zong, Kevin Zong, sorry. Thank you, chat, for correcting our pronunciations. Yes. We've got a sheet of paper, but if you know the know how to say it, Koske, gotcha. Koski, Koske, Koske. Koske Matsubara, number five for St. George. Thank you very much. Koske, thank you. We'll keep that up. Time out taken here, so coaches are going to make some adjustment. It is 22 to 14. St. George leading the Royals. Riff, Riffle is on a 5-0 run to start the second quarter. Yeah, unanswered there. St. George had a strong first. Yep. But they're going to need to make some changes back if they really want something to happen. Yes, it's that press that is causing a little bit of trouble for for the Royals. So let's see how they can make make their adjustments. This is a great matchup. I can feel the energy from the crowd. They are loving this. DJ is getting the crowd hyped up with all their music. Okay, St. St. George has the ball under the baseline. They're set up in a stack. Let's see how Regina sets up their defense here. Let's see if it goes, looking, Lucas Butler, nothing there. They got to play it to the safety. Long Nobody ball. gets it though. Unfortunately, that's going to be a back and over. Back that and is over. not the way you want to come out of a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. No, not a great start. Not there. a great start to the timeout, but in this beautiful game, you have to shake it off onto the next possession right away. Osagi. He's calling for a thumbs up. He wants that pick and roll here. Here we go. There he is. There Number it is. And Caden Thompson couldn't quite Kaden put the Caden Thompson in. just can't find his groove yet. He is one of another, another backdoor cut. Oh, Soggy wanted that block. He thought it was clean, but the ref had, had another angle. Yeah, Aryan Sadlock there getting fouled. Stepping up to the line for two. What can he do for his team now? Oh, Soggy was called for the block. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't in the. Sh it wasn't anything for the block here. Let's see how Jam veers from the free throw line. A little short. Okay, Javier has one more chance to make it. Yes, it's and in this game, probably more than that too. Yes, 22 to 14 here with five minutes left in the second quarter. Good defensive rebound for Tristan Everlay. Number three, Ty, Ty Lee's handling the pressure. Dribble handoff with Osagi. Osagi wants that pick and roll again here. Let's see. Double pressure. Double crush. Number four, Ian Randall gets caught in the corner and St. George seeing that Tristan Everlay up. Nope, it's a reset here. Osagi on the baseline, keeps his dribble alive. Tristan Everlay cuts. Unfortunately, he misses the foul shooting. He's going to the free, free throw line here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Kevin Zong is coming back in. He had a little jersey change there. He had a little jersey change. Lucas Butler is taking a breather. Tristan Eberle just rolls out. Couple bounces there. Could have gone either way. Could have went either way here. Now he gets it to roll. Shooting 50% from the free throw line here tonight. Charlie McConville and Dominic are going to bring bring up the ball here. Aquino. Aquino with an off. Osagi with a defensive rebound. He wants to push the pace and use his athleticism. There he is, shimming through, up and gets the roll, ladies and gentlemen. Great moves on him. Osagi Great with the nice hesitation move. That's what you want to see. That's exactly what you want to see, a strong player. This is giving Regina life here. Caden Thompson almost with the steal, but they still get it. Riffle gets it. He dunks it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a play. Osagi with the dunk. St. George gets called for, nope. Caden Thompson gets called. Okay, this is a 22 to 9, uh, 19 game here. Riffle is on a 10-0 run to start the second quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, still unanswered by George here. George has got to find an answer here. Quickly. Quickly. But there's lots of then Dominic shoots that deep three. And here's Osagi in transition again. St. George did a really good job of getting back. Osagi's driving in one on three. Unfortunately, he calls for the travel. He stumbled a little bit, but that's okay. Here he comes, Aquino stepping up. Back and forth. Tikitaka, number four, Charlie McConville. Nice. To Kevin Zong, but he unfortunately just missed it. Osagi with another re uh, rebound. Kyle Conte is going to push the pace. There we go. To Tristan Eberle gets the N1. Oh, he almost got the N1. He really wanted that one, folks. Great fake by Eberle there. Riffle is pushing the pace here. Charlie McConville is going off for a breather in. Luke Sebastian is coming in to give him a breather. Tristan Eberle missed the first one. 22 to 19, Regina Riffle on a 10-0 run to start the second quarter. Missed them both. Math. Kevin Zong here. Zong can handle the ball himself. Oh. Oh, Regina is sure feeling it. They, Tristan Everlay takes a charge for his team. That is the energy. Exactly what Regina Riffle wanted was energy, and Tristan Everlay brought that, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody high fives him as he takes a breather. His coach is coming down to give him a handshake and a pat on the back. He brought his team back into this game here. It's a whole new game here, ladies and gentlemen. Caden Thompson is trying to look for Davin Barry in the post. They triple team him again. Six foot eight. You have to find some way to stop it and that's what St. George is trying to do. Dominic drives with a little hesitation. But it works for him. Dominic can really change the tempo and his speeds. It's not just speed too, he's agile. He's shopping and starting he's on a agile. dive there. He's agile, he's shifty. Now he's guarding Caden Thompson. And look at how fast they're both. They're wanting the pick and roll here just to get Dominic off Caden. And one for Caden Thompson. What a finish, ladies and gentlemen. The bench loved that. This is what basketball, basketball is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The energy from the players, energy from the fans. This is passion.
24-21. Close. Caden Thompson makes the end one play. That's beautiful here. It's 24-20-22. Lucas Butler is back in the game. Luke Sebastian. Zong almost alone. Zong gets fouled by Osagi. That's a great battle down, down low. Zong versus Osagi. They're both athletic, both quickness. Zong misses the first one. He's shooting 67% for the weekend from the free throw line. Let's see if he can, can turn it around. He, he yep, he heard us. He, he, he knew what his percentages were and he wants to up them a little bit here. Checking his math. Kyle Conte's quickness up to Caden. Caden Thompson pulls up. Little strong. Ochaya picking up the rebound. Nice. Regina gets a full reset on the shot on the shot clock. Re Regina is bringing back on Tristan Eberle. Osagi gets a breather. Riffles ball on the sidelines here with two minutes left in the second quarter. Kyle Conte comes around looking for Davin Berry, but it wasn't there. Zong gets it up to Lucas Butler, finishes it. No, he missed it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Ochaya taking the rebound, setting it up to number 10 there, Kaden Thompson. Thompson back to Ochaya to number one, Ty Kyle Conte. Lucas Butler with a defensive rebound. Here comes Aquino. Dominic, oh, he tried to get Davin Berry in the air, but. That six foot frame, six yeah. foot eight frame, doesn't, he can recover quickly. That's a hard battle for Aquino. He's 5'10", grade 12, and he is fighting against that six, eight, grade 11 there. But he's putting up a good one. Let's see what, let's see what the Saints are gonna run here. There he is, number five, Koski Matsubara. Dominic here wants it on the wing, he's driving. Up and under, oh. Just out of reach Just there for Zong to grab. Zong was cutting to the basket and Dominic thought he was gonna stay in the corner. That's how quick this game is, it a split second decision. Yep, players are moving, balls are moving, everything is moving at all times. Kyle Conte has been running the point here well. Caden, Caden Thompson wants that pick and roll with Tristan Eberle. Here's Davin Berry and Caden Thompson running a pick and roll. Nothing there inside, and they just wrap their arms around Davin Berry as soon as he gets it. I'm telling you, he's drawing fouls here and there. He's drawing fouls. One minute left that of this put, first half. That puts Regina Riffle in bonus. Davin Berry makes the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth with it, too. Smooth. It's like he's playing basketball at home in his backyard. And not live in front of hundreds of people. Not live in hundreds of, hundreds of people here. 170 are watching at home, so thank you for all the viewers here. And Boom. that's why you should Lucas keep. Sebastian. <laughs> From a deep three from Victoria, British Columbia. That's how deep he's shooting the ball. This Vancouver team can has range and they really love to shoot the three. Riffles ball here, let's see what they run. Davin Barry gets a safety, but Zong wanted it just as bad. Great save by Barry there, getting the pass off Kyle to Tyler. Conte, oh, got away with a little. Zong gets back with the rebound. Here's Dominic pushing the pace in transition, exactly what he wants. Lucas Sebastian. Here, St. Saint George gets the offensive rebound with a full shot clock. There's a one second difference on the shot clock, so they're gonna go for the last shot of this half here. 
Kevin Zhang drives and they're gonna, oh. Gets back in Dominic hand. That's the one that they wanted right there. The look that they wanted and they get what they wanted right there. Kevin Zhang. That is experienced basketball to realize that they had last, last shot. 30 to 23 at halftime. St. George's Saints leading the Riffle Royals. We'll see you all in a little bit here. 10 minute break.
hot dogs, pizza. Check it out. And if you'd like a t-shirt, program, special souvenir from Brits, check that out out in the hallway as well. Welcome back, folks. Sweet Defeat and Foxtrot here on the mic, leading into the second half of our quarterfinalists here between Riffle Royals from Regina and the St. George Saints. Seven on the shot clock, and Lucas Butler drives. Nice shot over Davin Barry. That was not an easy shot over a six foot eight frame. Osagi is back in the air, dribble handoff with Ty, with Ty Lee here. They're looking for a little pick and roll. Comes over the top, Caden Thompson. There's Barry at the top. There's Sends it to Ochaya. Ochaya with the top basket. Regina is playing with confidence. Kevin Zhang driving, gets fouled though. He's going to the free to the free now throw line. Osagi picks up his third foul early in the third quarter. Let's see what the coach is does. Is he going to trust him to play some defense without fouling, or is he going to sub him off? Decides to keep him in. Oh, 
Oh, Soggy knows what he's doing. He's a grade 12er coming back for his second Brit in two years that I've seen. He knows how to play safe. He knows how to play smart, and he knows how to play strong. Kevin Zhang hits another free throw to extend the lead to eight. Kyle Conte down to Davin Berry. Gets his own rebound. Davin Berry. Butler here driving up. Kevin Zhang. Joaquino. Butler. Here. Charlie McConville driving. Can't get it by Caden Thompson. Osagi gets the ball here. He drives. Nice dish to Kat Davin Berry to finish here. Now Regina is playing with confidence here tonight. Zong to Aquino. Zong to Aquino. There's Janvier out to Charlie McConville. There's Zong driving. Cutting through, but no, he gets denied. Osagi picks up the loose ball, drives to the rim, finishes it, and one. Osagi slicing through the defense. Stepping up to the charity stripe for his one shot, yes. an old fashioned three pointer. St. George ch coach is relaying a message to his players stop the ball. He wants that ball stopped early in transition. Thirty-three, thirty-one here. Nice backdoor cut. Kevin Zhang finishes the tough basket over Caden Thompson. That press, they're saying George is coming back to their press. Ty Lee is stuck in the corner. He gets it to Caden Thompson, who shoots a three, and he drills it. Caden Thompson with the big three. Great accuracy from him tonight. What composure by Riffle. Thought they were trapped in the corner, but no, they throw the skip pass. And Osagi picks up the defensive rebound. He loves to go in transition. He wants to pick and roll with the big man, Davin Berry. Ty Lee drives out of bounds. There is Ty Lee on Achaya. The Royals ball still. Let's see what they draw up here. They're spreading out the defense. Osagi looks like he wants a little bit of lob here pass. Let's see what they get to him. Yep, they are giving it to Osagi exactly what he wanted. Caden Thompson off the alley-oop. Look at that ladies, oh! What a beautiful inbounds play with Caden Thompson and Osagi. Just missed it. There's Charlie McConville. McConville to Lucas Butler. Calm and smooth. Little short though. Davin Berry. Here's Caden Thompson again. Slowing it down. Osagi sizing up the defense. He wants a pick and roll again. He's calling for thumbs, which is pick and roll in, in Riffle's actions here. Jamvier with the steal in transition. Slicing through the defense. And tough basket over Caden Thompson. And he couldn't, couldn't, can do anything. Look at those plays by him. Caden, Great performance. perfect defense. Nothing he could do there. Davin Berry and Osagi on a dribble handoff here. Let's see what they can do. Ty Lee to Caden Thompson who feeling it and he just misses the three. Loose ball foul. 21, Davin Berry with the loose ball foul on Lucas Butler. Lucas Butler was fundamentally in position there. Davin Berry is questioning. I'm just that much bigger than him. Janvier on Osagi, he attacks him knowing he has three, three fouls. Warm by the Royals. Royals. Oh, and Janvier picks up the loose ball foul. St. George is bringing on Evan Palmer. That is their spark plug, the energy guy off the bench. Let's see if he can ignite this St. George Saints team here. Ah. 
They're going back to their press. That's what worked for them in the first quarter. Let's see if they can get it going. Regina's guards are pretty quick and they handle the pressure pretty easily. Oh, a foul by Charlie McConville. Let's see how they handle this composure. They still have a three point lead here, ladies and gentlemen, 37 34. Rayville brought it back since the start of this, but they're still trying uh, to get a lead. Kyle Conte spreading out the offense. He wants space for his players. They're running that pick and roll with Caden Thompson, but he gets called for the moving screen. That, that is a tough play for Caden Thompson as Kyle Conte uses his quickness and just can't keep up with that speed of Kyle Conte. Davin Barry in the full court press with Lucas Butler. Keeping the skips backward, eyes are staying locked on the ball there. Number 14, Luke Sebastian just off the mark. St. George ball with 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Kevin Zong comes in for Lucas Butler. No. Change of plans. Taking out Charlie McConville Charlie instead for Zong. Charlie McConville takes a, takes a breather. Alley, you play Zong. and Zong. That is why the coach wanted him in. Yeah, what a great entrance. What a entrance. And Regina tries to answer with a three, but Osagi gets his uh, offensive rebound. And there's and, Barry to and pick there's it up. there's Barry to pick up the other offensive rebound. Zong in transition, does not get the roll. Zong this, plays fast. This is a fast paced game, ladies and gentlemen. It's turning into a track and field meet here. And I can't even tell if it's a sprint or a marathon. They're going to be running for a good couple they, more minutes here. They are sprinting. A timeout taken by Regina Riffle. 39-36 with two minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. What a game, Mr. Ripley. What do you think? It's been, I like seeing this kind of basketball. I like the low and slow, the control, but this kind of speed, sending players back and forth. Zong especially Zong. has played like a mad dog. He is all over the court. He is everywhere. Zong is all over the court. I totally agree with you that. And then Osagi too. Osagi. Osagi is leading the charge for for the Royals. That is this is a good battle to see. I'm I am glad there's still lots of basketball game left in this one. Yeah. Davin Davin Barry, I haven't seen too too much of him on the off, on the offensive side, but no, hasn't been driving too hard. No. Mostly there for the rebounds, and he's still getting points though. He's, he is still getting his offensive rebounds. Yep, cleaning up the gar the, the garbage that six foot eight frame. I've said it before this tournament, and I'll say it again: you can't teach height. You can't teach height, ladies and gentlemen. There you heard it from the man himself. It is Riffle's ball under the basket on a baseline. Let's see what the coaches drew up here. The last play was an alley-oop to Osani. Davin Berry drives and he gets fouled, Lucas Butler. What we were just saying about not seeing Barry on the driving Barry, offense. I, that's like he can hear us. I think Barry heard us. That is what say, that's what Davin Barry wants. He wants to square up and he wants to use that dribbling and force of his. He gets to the free throw line and he hits another one. Yeah, this is his fourth or fifth time stepping up yes, to the stripe. He is shooting 72% from the free throw line this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty consistent. He misses the second one, but he, Osagi gets it. Kicks it to Caden Thompson. Out to Ian Randall. To back to Osagi, who shoots it. Little off the mark, and Davin Barry again with the fourth. They unfortunately call him for the travel. He thought he had his foot planted, but the ref seen something else. 
I was a little scared for Sebastian there. Luke Sebastian almost underneath Davin Barry. Yes. <laughs> Supporting oh, the big man. A, that is a big man. Davin Barry is going to take a little breather and they bring on the Energizer, Tristan Eberlay. Oh, number 14. Energizer Eberlay here. And Evan Palmer, the Energizer. We have two Energizer guys out yeah. there. Energizer Eberlay and Energizer Evan. Let's see who wins the energy battle tonight. It's being picked up by the crowds as well here. Electrifying crowd, electrifying atmosphere. Again, if you're anywhere close in the neighborhood, feel free to come in tonight. We've got a good few games. Come in tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. We're starting. We'll be here. Great save there. Great save by Kyle Conte, but unfortunately goes to St. George. Evan Palmer called for the travel. This is a game of details. Who is going to take care of the details? Yeah, 100 little things. All the little things matter here. Lots of these players have played in these high pressure situations, so this is nothing new to them. Osagi's gonna post up Evan Palmer. Gets it short, Lucas Butler with the defensive rebound and here's St. George in transition. This is what they wanna do. But Caden Thompson has other ideas as he slows it down for them, gets back. St. George likes to run a lot of motion offense here, just yeah. to get the movement, switching up on everything. And Dominic misses it. He gets his own rebound. Nice finish. There it is. There wow. It is. Wow. For what a, team that a finish. Been, team that hasn't been here since 2011 with St. George's last yep. visit to Britt. And, and they, they're playing like they never left. And they are taking advantage of this opportunity here. That is what life's about, ladies and gentlemen. Take advantage of those opportunities. And he is slicing through. He's feeling it. And he almost steals it from Caden Thompson. Osagi slows it down. He wants the pick and roll with Tristan Eberle. It's not there, but they got it to Kyle Conte, who not sh shoots it short. Number four, Ian Randall. Kevin Zong coming back into the game. Well, I'm interested to see what he's going to whip out of his mad book of magic tricks. Number nine for the Royals, making his first game appearance of the day here, Evan Ethan. Ethan Aveyard. And his task is to guard Lucas Sebastian. Let's see how they handle that here. Charlie McConville. Quick He's, feet, quick dribbles. Quick feet. Here's Caden Thompson. Caden Thompson always loved the task of guarding the ball handler. He loves defense. There's Osagi. Osagi gets in the air, but he's able to recover and knocks it away. He has it back. Straight into transition. Straight into back, driving baseline, which he loves to do. Osagi loves to get to the baseline. Let's see if St. George can pick that up and use the baseline to their advantage. Osagi goes to the free throw line, makes the first one. Back and forth on that front and back ram, but yes. it sinks. Just like he's playing in his backyard and he's practicing free, free throws, ladies and gentlemen. Around Riff, the world Riffle's consistent. bench is bringing the energy with the defense chance here. Let's see if that can throw off the St. George offense. Zong. Matthew Zong has other ideas as he drives and gets his own rebound, but he missed the second one. An energizer. Look at those plays by Zong. Instantly into the action. Wow. Number 14, Energizer Eberle gets that rebound. What a fast paced game. 9.4 seconds. They're double teaming the point guard. Riffle's going to get it to Osagi. Osagi's got eight seconds on the clock here. He decides for the three and he hits it. Right and decision. He, what a decision. Wow. 
Osagi walking calm and cool back to his bench. And that puts Riffle in the lead, ending off this third quarter, wow. 42 to 41. They are in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. After that three, Osagi. Great decision by him, great Yes. Moves. After the first quarter, Regina Riffle was down 22 to nine. They just take their first lead of the game going into the fourth quarter. In this high school game, there is so much emotion. Yeah, you forget it sometimes, but these are just teenagers. These are just teenagers. Playing a game they love. Playing a game they love, learning how to play the game. Oh, I think they're past learning. Yeah. Looking at these players, me, I'd be learning. These are teaching. This is a master class. This is what it is. We are going to continue to be life, lifelong learners. Let's see how Saint uh, George handles being being down for the first time in this game. Let's see what Dominic Aquino does here. He is the leader for the Saint for the Saint uh, George Saints. He's got Kun Kun there now, number 21, Sablon at the sort of the fourth and Kate quarter. And Caden Thompson is loving the task of trying to guard him here. Caden Thompson has been guarding the best defend, the best ball handlers all weekend. And Osagi rips down that rebound. He's calling for the pick and roll early. He wants it with Tristan Eberle. And Caden Thompson comes and gives him a second one and he hits it. From the mid range. Wow, Osagi. Koski to Javer. The Regina bench is getting louder and louder, disrupting the St. George offense. And there it is. St. George quiets the crowd with that one. And Kyle Conte pushes the pace and he gets all the way down, but he missed the floater. Yeah, quick possession there, but now it's back in St. George's hands. One point game again. It's a one point game again here. Let's see what happens. Kevin Zong, nice Euro floater, oh, what a move. St. George is getting life from Kevin Zong. He is, they're shining, they're night and Kevin Zong armor. is in grade 12, so he, so he knows how important, oh. Boom. Number 21, Janvier Kun Kun takes the charge. This game is back and forth. Tristan Eberle wanted to get to the basket, but Janvier planted his feet and took the charge. That is what basketball is about, Ripley. Can't say it any better than that, no. Boom, Ripley is smiling ear to ear here, ladies and gentlemen, he's loving this game. Looks like Riffle setting up in a 1-3-1 defense here. They're trying to mix it up. There's that 1-3-1 trap. Let's see what they're gonna do with it. Osagi steals it. That's what they wanted to Caden Thompson and he finishes it. Easy layup for him. Boom. That 1-3-1 just confused them right away. Straight back in it there, number two, Lucas Boom. Butler. Tristan Energizer Eberle again with the rebound. Caden Thompson. Oh, call for the travel. Regina Riffle making some subs, bringing on six foot eight Davin Berry. Kyle Conte, a leader. Tyler Nochaya, also a leader. Three very strong players for them. They took out the 1 3 1 and went back to a man here. Let's see how jo St. George handles this here. There they're pulling Davin Berry away from the basket so they have a little bit. There it is. Wow, second one rolled out. St. George can't believe it. They're still. Wow. Davin Berry had two on him and he got called for the foul. He doesn't like that. He's asking, what can I do when they're holding my forearms? Coach is explaining to him, you are extending your arm. 
I think he disagreed. What do you think? <laughs> Just a little bit. We saw him earlier in the yeah, match. He's, yeah. he's staying respectful, doesn't yeah. want to risk a techie or no. anything like that. But in this kind of situation, this kind of atmosphere. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 46-45. Charlie McConville loses the ball. Can't keep his hands on it. Trying to, trying to play a little too fast. Let's see if they go to Davin Barry inside the paint. They run the pick and roll with him. Let's see if the roll works. It gets to him what just what they wanted and they had the mismatch, but he's a little too strong off the backboard. In St. George in transition, this is where they love to play. They forced that shot, but Kyle Conte. Wow, is he fast. Charlie McConville just had to foul him. That was a sprint. Seconds to get from end to end. That's his third foul. Timeout, St. George. They want to slow it down. Give them a little time to rest there. Give them a little time to recover, recuperate. Yeah, so the Riffles are a little bit more experienced team. They have 10 returning players and four uh, rookies here, so they're just leaning on that and thought that experience. This is their fourth year at Brit. Yeah. So they're still fairly new to the team, to the tournament. But this team that they've got, boatloads of experience. Here. Boat they were here last year and they played well. Yeah. They played very well. This place, I can feel the energy. The next game is the Walter Murray Marauders versus the Brooks Buffalo. Brooks that is a game I'm looking forward to. Walter Murray, last year Britt, taking home second place after a very, very hard battle against the Raymond Comets. Comets, of course, coming back this year, looking to keep that championship. Yes. And Murray looking to take it away. They want to defend that title. Of course, that's what every team is here to do. Yeah, every team wants, wants They want to win. the title. Who yes. doesn't? Everybody wants it, but not everybody can take home the title. No. And then I hate to sound cheesy, but even Javier, thank you for correcting me. J Javier is his name. Thank you. I love when I get help on pronouncing the names. I always wonder if I'm saying them right or wrong. And it's tricky sometimes trying yes. to keep up with it in a fast-paced game. This you got a, a sheet full of players. This is a fast-paced game. Caden Thompson here. Caden Thompson sur surveying here. Wants that pick and roll with Davin Barry. They're looking for Davin Barry on that switch, but this can't get it. What a wingspan on Davin Barry. You saw oh. it there when he reached out to grab the ball. Couldn't quite get it, but yeah. that is intimidating to say the least. Here's Zong, hard Zong driver. Zong drives over Barry, wow. Not only over Davin Barry, over Osagi as well. Osagi, Riffle's two most athletic, tallest guys and Zong went head on. But Barry said, give me the ball, I'm gonna show you what I can do too. He takes the lead back. Here's Aquino. Aquino, Charlie McConville. Doesn't want to drive there because Barry's there for the help. Zong again. Oh wow, he gets the shooter's touch. He's a threat from everywhere. He's a threat from everywhere. And Kyle Conte uses his speed. Yeah. But unfortunately he steps out of bounds. You can see Riffle there, not sure how to deal with Zong. They were clumping up around the key, looking to get some bodies in the way, causing Zong to foul. And he let them know, hey, I can do more than just layups. Yes. There's the Saints, St. George's. Saints is taking a timeout here. They have a one point lead with three minutes and 56 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Yep. It's been a nail biter. Yes. That's all I can really say about the game is wow. I'm excited to see how it ends. I'm very excited to see how this game. St. George's. 
There we go. Thank you, Chris. St. George's. St. George's Saints, all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia. They came here with a force and they really are putting on a show for the for the fans. Yeah. These two heavyweight contenders are going toe to toe. Buzzer getting ready to call There's the players the back buzzer. to court. The coaches are giving their last final instructions during the timeout. Yeah, closing remarks. These players are focused. You can see it as they walk on. They're yes. locked in. They are ready to go. The battle of the guards here, Kyle Conte and Dominic Ekanu are going toe to toe with their speed and their ball handling skills and their leadership. That's what you want to see from two leaders on the court. Yeah, both wearing the number one there, so both it's easy to tell who it is. Both wearing the number one, yes. Osagi loses it though to Charlie McConville. Zong. Javier. Oh, Javier. Javier cannot pull it down. He had it in his hands, but so many riffle hands around, knocking and loose. Here's Osagi. Here's that, here's that pick and roll, let's see. No. Lucas Butler hedges the screen, exactly what they want to do. Ty with the up and under. Ty Lee, wow, Tyler what an up try. and under. Yeah. What an up and under, ladies and gentlemen. Lucas Butler, little short, and Davin Berry rips it down. Yeah, not a little short for him. Man, Caden Thompson slowing it down as they cling to a one point lead. He wants to clear out, he wants it all oh, off his knee. Ty Lee wanted Caden Thompson to clear out to have that one-on-one -on -one battle on the wing. Just didn't happen the way that he wanted. It is just under three minutes left. Charlie McConville here. Looks like, looks like Griffles back in a zone here in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. I don't know if St. George's, oh. St. George's can deal Xavier with it. Xavier said, put that zone up. I'm gonna shoot it from the baseline. And now they trap and the rotation was perfect. Wow, Riffle in and out. Crowd's really starting to feel the it. The crowd feel is energy. feeling this. And oh, Soggy steals that pass and he loses it though in transition. And there's Javer to Aquino. To Aquino, Davin Barry says, oh, yeah. you're not gonna get by, by a me one here. one step forward. Yeah. And he lets everyone know. Kevin Zong. Offensive charge. And the ball. Oh, Kyle the Conte takes one for his team, and his team loves it. That's a strong player, Conte. Kevin Zong drives, but Kyle Conte says, I'm going to stand here, and you can run, run me over. Osagi's clearing it out. He wants this one-on-one -on -one with Charlie McConville. Let's see, he takes it to the baseline and he jumps and he's in the air and he gets fouled, ladies and gentlemen. Osagi's in the isolation phase here. Here he comes for two. Osagi here. The, the gym is so quiet. Wow. Great bounces. The shooters roll right there. It is so quiet, I can hear a pin drop. In and out, and they get it. Osagi gets his rebound, he passes it to Davin Berry. Riffle takes the lead here with 142 left. Are calling something. Refs are trying to just just to remind the scores tables they can't start the clock. Every second matters now. Yeah. Leading into the Riffle final. comes into a full court press and they put Davin Barry on the inbounders. That six foot eight frame is going to be a hard pass to make over. And Dominic Aquino is just going to slow it down, clear out. But Caden Thompson wants to guard him. He's up for that task. Let's see how that matchup goes. There's Zong. There's Zong and Osagi. They've been going head to head all weekend here. And they get the ball. 
Osagi's instant with his hands to tell the ref, this is yes. our ball. That's off him. Osagi. Didn't even touch it, you didn't see me. Okay, St. George's is coming back with a press and Osagi's just clearing it out. He, he's one on one here. He's sending Kyle Keontae clear here. He wants the one on one battle again. Let's see if he gives the baseline. He takes it, gets stopped. Caden Thompson to Davin Berry. Caden right Thompson again. He, he drives, loses it off his knee and out of bounds. 53 52 here, ladies and gentlemen, with 112 left. Matthew Zong and Osagi. Kevin Two, Zong. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. St. George running a pick and roll. St. George is running a pick and roll. Dominic to Charlie McConville for the three. Wow! Wow! What a shot. What a shot. Charlie McConville. No hesitation. He knew what he was doing as soon as Dominic was driving. Yeah, yeah. He knew he had the green light from his coach to pull the trigger. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great game here. 55-53 for St. George's. What a game. This gym is starting to pack up as the Walter Murray Marauders and the Brooks Buffaloes are going to be battling next. I can see the Walter Murray fans all over this gym. Yeah, lined up all around. They are lined up. This is what a game. This is what high school basketball is all about. This energy, this life that they bring to this school and this gym, the Kelly Bowers Gymnasium. After 54 years of grade, with two years canceled because of COVID, we're back and we're better than ever. We just got an update here. St. George's Saints are, are recently ranked number five in the 4A division in the BC Provincial Rankings. Wow. Top five in the province, and they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the top-ranked teams in Saskatchewan. This is what Britt brings. Give them just a little bit of time. They'll make yep. it to number one. Both players and both teams are trying to keep their keep their composure. There's still lots of time left. Both teams still have a timeout left. No one is close into bonus, so let's see how that factors out. And Caden Thompson's going to take the inbound. Just to to be Kyle Keontae here. Jay, Jay Veer has the task of guarding him. A little bit more length on him. There's Osagi. Osagi and Charlie McConville are going to go one on one here. And Lu Lucas Butler hedges the screen. Riffle misses it. And St. George is in transition. Out. And Jay Veer Euros up and he finishes it. What a finish. St. George is in transition is beautiful to watch here. It is. It's art in motion. This is art in motion. Kyle Keontae wanted to shoot that three. There's Kevin Song. Zang. Yes. Pulling a foul. Royals had to foul right away in transition. Ochai knew what he had to do and he didn't hesitate. Yeah, they stopped the clock. They are going to have to try and steal and foul at the exact same time. They are subbing out Zong here, bringing in a free throw shooter specialist. Koski. There he is. There we go. They, St. George is putting on all their shooters. This for the foul game here now. They're going to waste the clock though. Regina, Regina has to foul here quick. They're wasting more time. Wow. What a it got call for travel. Travel called there. Oh, Royal loved that call. But St. George's is questioning that, well, that coach call. Coach is stepping up off the bench. He's yep. getting ready to have a few yep. words. The Royals are taking a timeout with 17 seconds left in a four point game. The coach is still wondering why that wasn't called for a push. Yeah, I can't imagine him being He's quiet looking about for that an explanation. Time. He's got to keep his composure yeah, as a coach, you know. Got to lead by example. Yeah, he's got to lead, lead by example. Just last year at Britt, a coach was given a technical foul for arguing too much with the refs. Someone yep. was standing up too much. You've got to know when to fight and when to just let it slide. 
17 seconds left here. Four point game. Four point game, Riffle has the ball. They're gonna have to decide, are we gonna go for two or shoot and go for a three here? This is the checkers game here. Yeah. These coaches are playing chess. There it on. is. Likely for the last 20 seconds. We might yep. see another timeout called. But a St. George. Regina Riffle lead. has no more time timeout, so their coach is giving them final instructions on what to do on this offensive play and on the defensive side. And after this, you just gotta trust your players. Just trust your players. St. George's 57. Riffle 53. Let's see what Riffle draws up in the play. Number 13, Number Arian 13, they want to alley-oop it to Davin Berry who shoots the baseline, but Can't Kevin Zhang with the rebound. That's the fourth foul, fourth team, team foul. Caden yeah, Thompson. Caden Thompson. St. George's is putting back in a shooter here. They want to make sure they have enough shooters on the on the floor. Because their next the next foul that they receive is going to send them to the to the to, to the, the line to the line here. Oh, a big open pass. Yep. Javier. I agree with you, Keith, and technicals are sometimes necessary to send a message. That, and they do do a good yeah. job of that. See but, the, I, but I don't know if I would take one in a four-point game. That is just me, though. Javier misses the first one. Keeps Riffle in it. Keeps, gives Riffle a lifeline, but they don't have any timeouts to use here. So they're going to have to improvise on the, on the fly. Trust your players, that's all you can do. Trust your players. There's Make the it. second, it's a three point game. You can make subs on a basket score, so that's what St. George's is doing here. Osagi's gonna have to play quick here, they are down five. Down five. He shoots the three, little strong, and Davin Berry gets it to Caden Thompson, who fires it in. That's strong. Davin Berry again. Nope. And that's game, folks. Oh, oh. A little bit of excitement under the basket. That's just two uh, teams competing that both want to win here. What a game here, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. I see great sportsmanship. Gamer great sportsmanship. Giving a couple of high fives to the St. other team. St. George wins this game 58-53. The Saints versus the Royals. It was tight, it was close. St. George's ends up taking it there. I believe that'll put them into the semifinals, either against the Walter Murray Marauders or the Brooks Composite Buffalo. That game is going to be... 1.30 tomorrow afternoon for those of you watching in British Columbia. What a game. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Next next game is the Walter Murray Marauders versus the Brooks Buffalo. All right. That'll be Sweet to Feed and Fox Roth signing off here. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more great Brit basketball. The Brooks Buffaloes from Brooks, Alberta, and the Walter Murray Marauders. Awesome. I would like to congratulate on your win first, and how do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tough win. Yeah. Um, the boys fought hard. Like during, during the middle, the second quarter, I know we uh, we ran into some problems with size differences and everything. But um, we came back, we fought through adversity, and I think that's all that matters. Yeah, uh, definitely. What do you think like, were the biggest strengths of this game, and like, how could that help you to improve for the next one? Um, definitely toughness. Yes. Um, against a big guy like... Uh, 21. 21. It's pretty hard to contain them in the post, but um, if we work together as a team, 
I think um, we can we can uh, conquer many problems in the future. Yeah. I also like the transition was really good. If, like one point you guys were losing, and one point there were. How did you handle the stress and like still kept going, being able to focus on the game? How do you feel about that? Um, yeah. Uh, it, it was definitely very really stressful and tiring, especially with with everything going on. But um, I think with practice and everything, um, and this is how we do. I think um, yeah, like support from teammates, and I, I think stress can be um, overcome by everything. Yeah. Definitely. And are you excited to be uh, going to the next round of Bird now? Yes, definitely. Um, I believe tomorrow is semifinals, and um, yeah, I just want to see the fans going. Going crazy and everything. So many of you yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, and we wish you luck for your next game. Thank you Thanks so much.